The following is a video podcast from the Wessels Living History Farm. Robert Doherty is the founder and chairman emeritus of Valmont Industries, the world's largest builder of center pivot irrigation systems. Uh, our company started mm -hmm. in uh, 1946 on a farm near uh, Valley, and uh, that's where the headquarters were for a number of years. And in 1952, about, the farm economy went down and we were faced with a real problem. An employee of ours uh, said to me one day that, that I ought to get to know Frank Zeebach. Uh, and he, he knew him and he said he had a little, little shop out in Columbus, Nebraska. And, he explained to me that he would had developed a irrigation system that was quite unusual and that I should take a look at it. So I followed that uh, it, and went out to Columbus and introduced myself to Frank Seebach. And after two or three days of conversation, I uh, ended up buying uh, his little company. And so we had, uh, with that, the right to manufacture his product, and he had it patented, and we agreed to pay him a royalty, which we did. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was what got us involved in Center Pivot. What did you know about irrigation before you talked to Frank? None. Really? Zero. I was a city boy. Uh -huh. I grew up in South Omaha. Well, I went out and listened to him, and I looked at the crop that was growing and talked to the farmer that would, uh, was uh, using the system and decided that, you know, this might be something that uh, had a future. And so that's really why we got into it, plus the fact, keep in mind that I told you that the products that we were making were adversely affected in the farm economy that was down. And so that was another incentive for us to have an interest in something else. And it took us a number of years to perfect what he had because the original center pivot was a concept. It wasn't, it wasn't fully developed from a reliability standpoint. And it took us a long time, longer than it should have, but it took us a long time to really get it so that it would work properly. But we continued to persevere, and we got it so that it would work. What was Seabrock like to work with? Well, he was a very interesting guy. Uh, we, uh, we got along with Frank uh, very well. He uh, worked for us on a full-time basis some of the time. Other times why he uh, came in and left and came in and left and he was a consultant, mm -hmm. and uh, he didn't really agree with uh, a number of the things that were done. As an example, he didn't think it was appropriate to build an electric system. Really? Well, he was in love with the water drive, and that's what he developed, and he thinks that was to be the way to go, and fundamentally it was a way to go in the beginning. But uh, it was obvious that Electric drive was by far a more reliable means of driving a center pivot system without interruption than was a water drive. In 1954, you had only seven systems built. And by 1960, we're doing like 50 systems? That sounds about right. How did you survive? Well, we were making other things in our company besides irrigation. Okay. Let's not forget that. That is, did not support the company back in those early years of Center Pivot. We were making farm machinery items that we were selling, at, uh, and, and that supported the company. It wasn't the irrigation system. And so, it, as I said, it took us too long from the time that we had the idea from Frank until we developed a really reliable system that we could sell in quantity. It took us much too long, but that's what happened. Uh, where so many pivots are installed today, you couldn't grow adequate crops without center pivot. 
And so uh, we've managed to feed millions of people as a result of Center Pivot that would not be properly fed today if it had not been for Center Pivot. Yeah. You're proud of that fact. That's what? You're proud of that fact. Of course. Anybody would be. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's one of the great things uh, the achievement it produced uh, was uh, a wonderful feeling of uh, having done something that important for humankind. Along with it, why we've enjoyed a good, uh, profitable business. For more, go to www.livinghistoryfarm.org.